In today's video, we are going to show you how to make a delicious, moist, and juicy chicken breast that's boneless and skinless. I know, I know, it sounds like it can't even be done, doesn't it? <laughs> but it can be, and we are gonna show you exactly how to do that. And this recipe is so great because you can use it with any of your chicken breasts, and you can change the spices on it to however you want, because it's a brine recipe, and it's going to make your chicken breast delicious. It's going to make it so juicy and so moist, in the oven super fast and easy and as always healthy so make sure to comment below and tell us how you're going to use this awesome trick and technique in your cooking with your chicken breast and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit the dinger because you want to get notifications when our next video comes out because we don't want you to miss a thing now let's get into this video for this brine, I did three cups of warm water. You're gonna to wanna to have warm water so the salt dissolves. Two tablespoons of kosher salt, super important. If you don't have kosher salt, you can use pink Himalayan salt or table salt, but you have to decrease the amount by half because it's actually saltier than kosher salt. Once your brine is done, you're going to pour it over your chicken and put it into the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and rinse the chicken breast under cold water, pat dry, and put on your baking sheet. You're gonna go ahead and mix up your seasonings. On this one, I did a fourth of a teaspoon of Italian herbs, a fourth of a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can use any herbs that you would like. Also, you can gently spray it with olive oil before adding the herbs. I really like the combination of these herbs on this chicken breast, but feel free to use whatever herbs you like on your chicken breast that adds so much delicious flavor. I cannot wait to eat this. You're gonna also wanna put a piece of parchment paper down on your baking sheet because it's gonna help with easy cleanup. Let's pop that into the oven at 450 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of your chicken breast. Before you do anything, you're going to put a thermometer in it and you're gonna make sure it's at 165 degrees and that it's ready to go. You're gonna to wanna to let it rest for about five to 10 minutes before you cut into it so that the juices don't run out. Look how incredible that looks. We really hope you liked this video and we really hope that it showed you that your chicken breast doesn't have to be boring and dry at all, that you can make a juicy chicken breast anytime you want. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you make this recipe or any of our other delicious recipes, make sure to tag us on Instagram at www.healthyfoodygirl because we absolutely love seeing what creations you come up with. It makes us so happy that we know that you're enjoying and loving our recipes. Thank you so much for watching. Keep, Keep cooking. cooking.